Legos. This is what started my YouTube career. And today, we're going to go back to my roots and do something with Legos, because I'm actually going to put all my Legos in a bin, because, you know, I'm getting older and I don't need them just sitting around in my room. So as one final hurrah for any of those who are uh, OGs, I guess I'll say, uh, we're going to do, uh, yeah, Lego Apple Store. What you're seeing here is the Lego Apple Store I made two years ago, a couple months before I created this YouTube channel. Now, obviously, there's no Apple Silicon, there's even iPhone XRs, so we obviously need to update that. So, this is what this video is going to be about, is updating my LEGO Apple Store. The first thing I decided to do is get some uh, LEGOs with some holes in it so I could put some little stud bits in it. Because I really didn't want to take everything apart and put it on a bigger platform. Whereas this way, I can keep it the same way, I could just add another section in as needed and pull it apart if I want. And, this is how it looks um I empty and here is this genius bar i kind of just little put some little stools and whatever and uh let's just connect them and we are good First, I thought we could start off with the 24 inch iMac. So I have a bunch of prints uh, just I printed off the web. And so we're just gonna build a little thing here for this 24 inch iMac to stand on. And I think that even if you can't like print out something, I think this design is really smart. So you just got a normal computer piece. I'm not putting anything on that anyway because I don't think the Magic Keyboard looks much different than a uh, Lego thing. So you want one of these uh, tilted things. It conveniently was blue, so I just was like, oh, I'll have a blue 24 inch iMac. And then you just put that for the chin, and you got a screen. And I think that is a really good design. And you're gonna see here in a minute that I actually embraced that Lego piece as the design. Um, so this computer won't just fit normally on the desk. I will update it with uh, a new wallpaper in a minute here. You, there is Lego um, computer, actual computers, but I didn't have any, so I just had to make this makeshift one. So, yeah. And with that, our first thing is done, and I did end up cutting off the piece of the chin on the actual print just because I thought the actual Lego part looked better. So now we're going to build a studio display or pro display XCR. It doesn't really matter. Just, uh, I need to build a little stand. I was running out of those tan pieces, but, uh, and also my camera was having a really hard time focusing. Throughout this whole video, it's going to have a weird focusing thing. Oh. What happened to my <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, and so that's my uh, studio display stand. And the studio display is complete with MacOS Ventura booted up, except for we don't have a Mac, so we're going to need to make a Mac here in a minute. And here we go. I did mess up all my prints. The Mac Pro was kind of a little too big, but I think it looks fine. I mean, they're going to update it again in a couple months anyway, so it's going to be outdated again. Next up, we have the Apple Watch Ultra and the Apple Watch Series 8. So, let's get to it.
Next up, we need to put the Apple logo for the front of this store and the Genius Bar sign and a couple other things. Now my iPads I've been really interested in redoing because when I printed them I didn't print them and scale them right so it kind of looks like the iPads actually have home buttons when they're all screen iPads so I definitely got to fix that I definitely uh, changed up the aspect ratio and everything so it's going to look better. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time to do the iPhones.
everybody. Thanks so much for watching my uh, YouTube video on my Lego Apple Store. Hope you guys like it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And peace out.